My chicken loves the cowbell, shall we say. It's Friday night. Anything having to do with cow, the chicken is happy. I'm playing cow cow Awesome. <laughs> this is very awesome. This is what? <laughs> I, I don't have heels on tonight though i do not <laughs> it has been a long time since i've had to wear heels and i wasn't going to start tonight <laughs> it's been a really long time if you think about it like a year. no it's been a long time since i've dressed for anything other than you know jeans and perhaps uh sweatpants I know I'm wearing sweats, my uh, Our Lady of Guadalupe hat. Uh, I don't think I've eaten all day. We've been just moving, moving, moving on getting the manuscript ready. And it's just been a, like cray, a cray, cray, cray. These, I don't know. I just like, I feel like my head's down a hole all day long, <laughs> juggling this, that, and the other thing. I went, I had to go to my osteopath today and he said, oh, so how's your day? And I was like, <laughs> you want to know what I've done already and I have that much more to do again? He's like, whoa, take a breath. <laughs> we have to turn everything in on Monday. So we're just asking everybody, please send us some just, you know. Mojo. Storytelling, calming vibes um, that we're going to finish it. I know we are. We're so close. Uh, but it's a lot to put together. For that it's insane <laughs> and i have to just say y'all have been stepping up with the donations we are super grateful we are past nine thousand tonight yay <laughs> we are getting closer so we have some news we will be doing a raffle we will be announcing the raffle stuff on sunday i think with the photo winner, we'll give you the details. And it is, there are cool prizes. And it's everyone who has donated gets their name in a bowl. And Bella Alcalé, my niece, is going to be picking the name out <laughs> of the winners on Tuesday. Or no, next no. Monday. Next yeah. Monday. A week from Monday, yeah. But the people who give over 100 and over will get their names in twice. And any donation goes in the bucket. We are not, we are just so grateful for everything you guys give. So listen, people, again, $5. Look, it's, a numbers game. it's a numbers game at this point. If a thousand Corona Kitchen members gave five dollars right now, we'd, we'd be there, okay? So just you know, d just do it, it's easy. That's nothing, right? Everybody, yep. Gets that. yep, <laughs> five dollars matters. <laughs> okay. And also, don't forget about the recipe contest, people. We have one going on. We have a recipe. Do you want to be in the cookbook? Submit your recipe too. Yeah, catch at gmail.com. Okay, I need my ice bucket, Huzz. Where is it? Ice bucket, ice bucket. We're doing the Ginger Rogers cocktail. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna do my tap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I better stop or I'll hurt myself. You know it always happens. Yeah, don't, don't. Or knock something over on yourself. Please stop. <laughs> Nine years of tap dancing, Brianna. Yeah, we're going to be uh, <laughs> wheeling it up with the wheelers. We got some gin going on. Like, I'm not going to touch that one. Um, <laughs> yes, and we were discussing earlier today about the patriarchal nature of the relationship between Fred and Ginger and how it was always about Fred. And she was just like this pretty sidekick and it's so sad because in reality and Fred Astaire she was, a bomb. <laughs> she was a better dancer than he was those are his words okay yep. so I just tell you wow once again but anyway <laughs> so this this cocktail um has been served at the in the San Francisco absinthe and brasserie of 
bar for since like the 90s. They came up with this cocktail. So this is what it is. We're going to give them credit. Thanks a lot. Simple syrup, because you guys know about that. We've been making it. We are the queens. This one is ginger and black peppercorn. So it's spicy. Ooh. Yeah. And it, it's really good. Um, so it, it's got a little kick to it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to see my socks and sweatpants. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, so this one calls for crushed ice. My husband crushed the ice already. No, I don't have crushed ice. I need to crush it. I didn't do that. Well, okay. how are you going to crush it? I'm going to put it in a, can I just put it in a towel? and? Well, I put it in a plastic bag and David smashed it up with the mallet. <laughs> There's that if you don't have a, an ice crusher. All right, I'm gonna, <laughs> no, I don't. So okay. what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take a steel ladle. <laughs> <laughs> and while, no, while I'm, I'm crushing, I'm going to make my garnish, which I'm just, I'm just gonna do a lemon peel. You will get this in the face if you if robbers come to my house. Okay. Um. <laughs> so when you do the lemon peel, you just wanna try and not get a lot of the pith on there. Okay, hey, wait a second. Here I go. Everybody just hang on. It's going to be noisy. All right. And we have mint. She gave me mint from her yard. <laughs> Get up, girl. You know what? The thing about this quarantine time is there's really nothing you can't do with some MacGyver tools. That's <laughs> right. Well, I've done it with the bottom of a frying pan. Of course I have. <laughs> this is perfect crushed ice. No problem. Okay. Yeah. No, you don't need an ice crusher. You just need a mallet. <laughs> or a ladle. Yep. So, so I'm going to put in about six leaves of mint in the bottom of this chilled glass. Okay. Six leaves of mint. And I might add, this is from my live mint outside the kitchen window. And then they, they said two-thirds of an ounce of the syrup. But I found out that two-thirds of an ounce is four teaspoons. Okay, wait. Besides the mint, what do I put in? The simple syrup. Four, and no, no lemon yet. Four teaspoons. No, just the mint and the simple syrup for right now. Okay, mint and simple syrup. Got and then we're going to muddle it. Okay. That's muddling. I'm sorry, how much simple syrup? Um, well, they said two thirds of an ounce, which is four teaspoons. That's the equivalent. You got it, four teaspoons. Because I don't have one of those ounce glassy measurey things. You have some peppercorns in it? Well, no, I strained them out. Oh, God, I didn't strain mine out. <laughs> Well, you should strain it because you don't want to eat a peppercorn. <laughs> oh, God. Well, too late. I'm going to have to. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to strain this and then put it on ice. Okay. You could probably do that. I'm going to have to do that. Okay. Okay. Come on, everybody. <laughs> it happens. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now it's three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Okay, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. I'm making two things there. I'm making the mocktail and the cocktail. Okay. Okay. Three quarters of an ounce of that, and then an ounce and a half half of um, gin. Ounce and a half. Okay. Of our wonderful Wheeler's gin. Thanks, Santa Fe Spirits. Thank you, Santa Fe Spirits. <laughs> We've been drinking this whole year. <laughs> oh, you know, it's lasted us a year. And then I'm putting it in there. Okay. And then, oh, that gin. Oh, the smell of it. I really can't get over how good it is. It is so fragrant. I wish you guys could smell it. And then I'm going to add some ice, some crushed ice to the glass. Is the um, ginger ale go over and the after? Get, right. Give it a rest. You got to okay. stir it up. Okay. I'm going to have to. Mine right now. I stir it like this. Okay. And then 
you top it with ginger ale. So I have this um, Fever Tree ginger beer. Oh, yeah, I do too. So you top it with about two ounces of that and then add a little more ice. This is good. Yeah, it smells delish. If I had Collins glass, I could use that, but I don't. So, and then I'm going to add a twist. Okay. And that's the drink. Yay. Well, we're almost there. Okay. <laughs> I'll make another one. <laughs> I haven't eaten today, so this ought to be interesting. Now, if you want to do the mocktail, obviously, just leave out the gin and more ginger ale. Yeah, do more ginger ale. But mm -hmm. I would definitely recommend making this simple syrup. It's delicious. It is so good. I never thought of putting peppercorns in simple syrup in my life. Uh, I thought of it either, but somebody did. The absolute bar did. Yeah. So I'm going to muddle this. All right. So four teaspoons. Oh my God. This is so. Cute and delicious. Look at that. It's, I'm going to take a photo. Did Did you um? I haven't tasted it yet. I'm going to wow. take. I know this is so the photo. Okay. Woohoo! <laughs> peppercorns, peppercorns everywhere. I left mine in and I muddled it to the side so I didn't muddle the peppercorn. But it's going to be interesting, everyone. So see, this this would make a great mocktail. You don't need to add, add the gin if you don't want to, but if you ha if you have the opportunity to get Wheeler's gin, you definitely should. <laughs> oh my God, it is so, it's just beyond how good it is. Okay, here we go, I'm gonna try it. Okay, here, cheers. <laughs> oh, wow, very refreshing. Oh, that's wonderful. It has a little spice in the back. The pepper and the ginger. Oh, my God. It's really um, Ginger Rogers backwards and mojito backwards. That's, and it. that's exactly what it is. Here, us. Now you taste it while I make mine. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. That's fabulous. Wow. I would never. Here, I'm going to do a close-up for people. I would never think of having peppercorn ginger simple syrup well, the thing is it just adds a really nice spice mm -hmm. it's not overbearing it was only a teaspoon of um of peppercorns in there D david's dancing around the house okay i just have to point out that my sister heidi's favorite movie was top hat as a child <laughs> and I probably watched it a thousand times this is no joke and when vcrs first came out <laughs> one of the first vhs tapes we had we played it until it died <laughs> that's funny well didn't you go to um didn't you go to wasn't it you who went to ginger roger no fred astaire tap school or something no i did not um but i did tap i tapped for nine years um and i was one of the what, what's her name cheers now i have mine and it was in san francisco rosie's super tappers and we tapped across the golden Gate bridge when i was in my 20s how long did that take a while <laughs> <laughs> there were a lot of people and it was so fun and it was they were just hardcore tappers, and I went once a week for like two years, and I just had a ball. I love tap dancing. So That's cool. awesome. It's so freeing. Super Cheers, fun. everyone. Cheers. Happy Friday. You Happy made it. Happy Friday. And don't forget to look for Sunday for the raffle. Mm. The raffle's going to be fun. We're trying to get as many people as we can to donate next week because we're wrapping up the fundraiser soon. We're wrapping it up. And then we're going in for the photo shoot. Woohoo! We had our first pre-pro with the photographer. Kanina. Kanina Meisels. She's awesome. She's the best. And it's going to be 
so fun to work with her and you know, there's so many details and so many things to talk about. I mean, you don't think about props and, you know, the aesthetic. Dishes and all kinds of stuff. But we're going to have a blast and we'll take pictures and, and keep you guys up to date with with um, production shots. <laughs> behind the scenes for you. You'll, it, you're going to be a part of it. All yeah. of you in this community are a part of the reason why we're doing this. So we're yeah. out to you. So thank you. Thanks thank everybody. you. <laughs> uh, um all righty then we shall see you uh live on monday and we're grateful for everyone being here with us tonight don't Have forget you. to call your senator and ask your senator to please vote to convict and remove convict and remove what necklace am I wearing? I'm wearing my B. <laughs> you can get them at uh, be these bees at um, the Golden Eye downtown in Santa Fe. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Be safe. Bye. Wear a mask. Wear two masks. <laughs> Wear